Welcome. You are watching Workplace English Class for UW-Madison employees. Today, we will learn to write an email. Hello. I'm JC, your teacher. First, we will look at six vocabulary words about email. Then we will look at pictures and information about writing emails. Third, you can watch me go through the steps of writing an email. Are you ready? A quick review. Six words you will hear me use inbox, messages, subject, sender, send, and maybe reply. Do you know this vocabulary? If you do not stop watching, Go find lesson two, how to reply to an email. You can learn this vocabulary in that video. Now, a quick review. What is this vocabulary? Inbox. It's a place where all your email messages go messages sender is the person who writes subject is a little bit about what you can read in the message also send to give someone a message using email. See the red button? Click send and your message goes to the person you are writing to. Okay, so that's vocabulary to help you understand. Now, let's look at email. This is my inbox. Your inbox will look a little different, but that's okay. Everyone's email will have a place to start a new message. What is the first step? Do you see the new message button? It's red. Click to start, and then you will see this. Here, you need to add an email address, the person you are writing to. I will show you three different ways to add a person you want to write to. One way, Click the to button and maybe you see a list of people to email. Find send email under the name of the person you want to write. Click to start your message. Or you can Start typing the person's name in the white box next to two. For example, I want to write Jennifer Sell. I type J-E-N 
And now I see a list of people with the name Jennifer. I find the person I want to write and click to open a new message. But sometimes you try to type a person's name in the box, but no names show up. For example, I want to write my coworker, Sufjan. I type his name, S U F A. But I did not finish writing his name before I got the message, no results. I do not have the person's email address saved. So I need to try the third way. Let's look. To send someone an email message, you must have their full email address. For example, I want to email Shu and Lee. So I type S H U W E N dot L I at W I S C dot E D U. I must type everything correctly so the message will get to her. Some parts of UW email are the same. Let's look at three examples. What is the same? All UW Madison email addresses use at whisk.edu at the end. All employees have a different part at the beginning. A name or letters, maybe numbers. So type carefully. Now you can add your subject. What are you writing about? What are the key words? Let's look at some examples of subjects. See the message subject in red? I can see it's about a meeting tomorrow. I do not read a lot of information or details in the subject. It's just a little information like a name what is this about? Let's look at a few more examples. What is this email about? The subject says it's about a parking lot gate. I know when I read this, I will learn more information about that. Here is one more example. English from teacher JC. When you open that, you get information about English. The subject is short, just to tell the reader the main idea of your image. And grammar is not important, just vocabulary. Now, your message here in the big white box, click and start typing your message. The last step, click the red send button. Let's review. Look for three white boxes. Two, subject, 
and the large blank one. First, where do you add the email? Here. In the to area is for the email address. Where do you write the subject? Here. A few words. Where do you write your message? Here. Last, you can send your message when you click the red button. Send. OK, are you ready to watch me write an email message? I will show you the same steps in real time now. This is my email. After you find your email, the first step is look for the red button, new message. Click. After you click, you will see a blinking line like this. When I type, the letters go in this place. For example, if I click here, my letters will go here when I type. If I click here, the letters are in that place. So click in the to box. I will write Jen Cell. So I start typing her name, J E. Oh, I see her. So I choose and she is ready. Now, if you choose a person you do not want to write to, Click this X and the person is not on the message anymore. Okay. Now click this box and add a subject. Just a few words, the main idea. Do not write long sentences in the subject box. For example, this is not a good subject line. Keep it short. Grammar is not important in the subject line. But don't write something like this. Also, this is not a good subject line because it will not help the reader understand what is in the message. So short vocabulary important ideas. Now click here to write your message.
after you write, read your message carefully. Did you write what you wanted to say? Also, look for these red lines. These red lines means there's a spelling problem. But sometimes the spelling is okay. For example, this is a name and this is a name. I see the red line, but those are correct. So usually names are okay, even though you see that line, that red line. These words are not names and there is a spelling problem. Try to fix it. Then I like to look at everything again. Who am I writing? What is the subject? Is it short but good for the reader? And my message. Oh, I'm glad I looked and checked because this T should be a capital. Now I click the red button to send. Be careful because if you click this button, this is the trash. You must click the red send button for your message to go. Click. Now, Jen has my email message in her inbox. I hope this helps you use your email. You can watch this video or any other video again and again to get comfortable with trying. But the best way to learn and practice is to do it. So try to use your email. You can send one to me or other people you know. If you need help, contact Cultural Linguistic Services, CLS. We can help you. Thanks for watching and good luck.